Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. And today, my fellow Wupirians, we are going to be building a bunker. But not just any bunker. I want to build a bunker that uses the energy from a nuclear attack to power itself. That's right. <laughs> An eco-friendly bunker. <laughs> Alright, so I have some basic ideas on how this is going to work. Um, obviously, if it's a bunker, it's going to be able to... Well, have to be able to hold up to quite a bit, so I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative here. And then... Oh, I messed that up. Let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, another layer of insulation. And then on top of that, we're going to put another shield, which is four thick. So one, two, three, four cable. I said one, two, three, four cable. Bring that all the way across. Why is, why is it not working? Why can't I? Okay, I'm just not having good luck here. One, two, three, four cable. Okay, this one will definitely work. Fantastic. And then all we have to do is get this. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how to get this power through safely so that the right side isn't like a weak spot, but I'm not going to worry about that at this exact moment. And there we go. That is going to be the basic form of our bunker defenses. I think this will actually hold up really well, and the only way to test... Oh, well, the only way to know for sure is to test our theory, go ahead and copy, paste a few more layers. Boom. Um, this is using, like, all of the protection methods I learned from that bunker map. And as you can see, we did get a small amount of damage to the uh, shield, but it's regrowing for the most part. Um, the top layer did get damaged and broke, but the rest seems to be doing fine, and the temperature seems to be pretty damn normal. Now this uh, titanium line going through heated up a little bit, but not really enough for a huge issue. So I think- oh, green screen, look at that, because the can is green. That is fantastic, my face disappears. Um, looking good. It's not the best bunker design ever, but it's not awful, and that's kind of what we're going for. Not awful. Now, we have all of this going through, and that is absolutely fantastic, but I want to give it a little bit more punch. A little bit of something so that we can uh, use the explosive energy to do some good work. There we go. Alright, so now we got that moving, and now on the bottom here I want to actually do something with this heat. Which is where we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go get our friend... Circles. think a circle like this will do fine uh, but I don't I don't really want to conduct electricity across that's the thing so I'm gonna do uh, how far can I go two all right so I'm gonna make a few changes actually for the sake of making this work a little bit better uh, I'm actually going to swap this out for ceramic so that we can actually see the electricity we generate. Because otherwise this entire thing will just kind of explode in sparks and that wouldn't be very good for the economy, would it? Or for the human life, but the economy is the important part, you know. Alright, so now inside of this I'm just going to fill it with f freeze. And, uh, this can just be kind of duplicated infinitely. They, they don't really need to be in a specific way. Do this, and then, uh, we can just, you know, copy this entire enchilada. I'm rather concerned. I don't know where it's coming from. Um... Huh. Aha! Now that this is interesting, I'm honestly very confused about what is going on here. 
Wait, wait. Alright, we'll just, uh... We'll just delete this entire thing and replace it. Seems like the easy solution. Until it has the exact same problem again. I called that. I called that happening. Um, perhaps I need to make this for... No, it's going through here somehow. But how? Alright, uh, how about I just make this a little bit further away? Okay, that works. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why that happened, but that's alright. That's alright. Okay, fantastic. We've got, for some reason, no shielding in some of these parts. Uh, that's kind of odd. Why is the shield dying close to the thing? Um. Oh, because the pressure is really high. Why is the pressure really high? I'll just reset the pressure. Even with the pressure issue, we'll just kind of ignore it and work on that in part two. Let's right now just focus on if this actually works as planned. <laughs> it, it might, it might not. So let's go ahead and grab some titanium, build a big old nuke, and uh, see what happens. Fill her up with plutonium. How oh, could a fancy view, of course. Throw some neutrons in. Let's see what happens. We get our initial explosion. It breaks into our first layer. We can see our colloids going kind of crazy to protect. And the temperature of this titanium hits 65 degrees. It's actually not enough to start the process. Um, that's kind of funny. And down here, it's still at negative 150. I don't know why this isn't connected. This should be connected. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna take a bit more of an explosion than that. I think our cooling system may be a little bit overkill. Um, just a little bit overkill. So what we'll do is, first off, we'll fix this. We will fix this, and I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this to being a single square. Uh, a single square per reactor. Let's see if that's centered. It is not and it will be impossible to. Um, two identical nukes that is. You know what's interesting, they aren't firing off in the same way. Even though they were identical. Oh, that one went off first and that one took a lot longer. We definitely got a bit more heat this time, because, you know, we had twice the nuclear material. And the bar here is cold. What about down here? 20 degrees? I mean, it's it's hotter, but... Uh, we're not really getting that heat down here like we want to. I mean, it's moving, it's just not really moving. This here is just so cold. I think we need to... We need to better... Uh, better isolate the cold in this section so let's go ahead and get some insulation and i'm actually going to literally just cover this entire area in insulation to try to hold it in and actually i don't know why we're using heat conductor here there, there shouldn't be this should just be insulation as well just like that so now the cold should be held in a little bit more. Boom! Go ahead and grab our protons. We'll set the life of the deuterium to 100 because that's reasonable, not super insane, but still powerful. And that was a failure because I forgot to properly uh, make it so that that'll actually go off, you know. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get some insulation and surround most of this so that the protons bump around and actually do something. There we go, there we go, come on, that's gotta be enough to go critical, come on, do your thing, there we go, and oof, yikes, looks like we can't without the insulation layers which we neglected to put in, uh, this is not going to work against proton bombs. 
Alright, so it looks like we're going to need improvement for our next version. Uh, because that clearly was a loss. Um, let's go ahead and see if we do neutrons with a bomb of this size with deuterium. I mean, this should be a little bit more violent. There we go. It is more violent, and it's melting through a lot. And there's a lot of heat. There's a lot of plasma. There's a lot of neutrons. Is it going to actually work, though? This is still at 22 degrees. Why? Why isn't the heat being carried down this titanium? I'm, I'm very confused. This is 400 degrees, but is it because of the ambient heat if I turn that off? What? Oh! Oh, I turned off ambient heat and it seems to be working better? Question mark. Questionable. Possibly? Maybe? Who knows? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I think at the end of the day, this was a failure. Um, Charlotte's upset about it too. I, I really cannot, uh, I'm gonna have to redesign this. I'm going to have to redesign this and we'll, we'll come up with something better, far better. But for now, that's gonna be all. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and fail with me. Thank you. Thank you.